This is the Warra Super Site. It's one of 12 sites like this in Australia that have been set up by the federal government to intensively monitor all the key Australian ecosystems to understand how they um, work, how they respond to climate, climate change, and what biodiversity is um, within those ecosystems. And the Australian network is part of a much bigger global network of sites. So there are sites like this established all over the world to help us understand how ecosystems work and particularly how ecosystems respond to changing climates, um, better understand climate change and also to, they assist in providing data to assist in modelling future climates. So they're really important sites globally for understanding the interaction between the Earth's surface and the climate systems. So what we've got on this, uh, this site, we've got an 80 metre tower which has got a whole lot of instruments at the top of the tower that are sitting above the forest and those instruments are measuring how much carbon dioxide and how much water is going into and out of the forest and they're making those measurements really, really quickly. So it's doing 10 measurements every second here um, and from that we can work out how much carbon dioxide and how much water is going into and out of the forest in real time. We've also got a lot of instruments up there that are measuring the, the weather conditions, how hot it is, how much wind there is, um, rainfall. So we've got, we're tracking climate, so we're tracking forest productivity and climate and it allows us to understand just how this forest is working. So the Warra site is typical of the really um, highly productive forest ecosystems in the world. It's one of the most productive forest ecosystems, natural forest ecosystems in the world. So it can accumulate massive amounts of carbon that takes them out of the atmosphere and stores it in trees. And uh, what makes it interesting is it does it in really short periods of time. So typically three or four hundred years is the maximum time that these forests would accumulate carbon then a wildfire would come through and it would all start again so understanding that carbon cycle is critical until we can understand how the forests work in relation to disturbance cycles we can't understand how we should be managing them appropriately we're also doing a lot of measurements on the forests itself we've got a lot of we've got a plot that intensively measures forest growth we've got uh, trees that we're measuring we've mapped all the trees We've mapped all the logs on the ground so we can very accurately say how much wood is in a patch of forest just behind the tower here. We're monitoring biodiversity, so we've got acoustic recorders. We've got lots of mosquitoes. <laughs> so having sites like this, we're monitoring much more closely what the forest is doing. So the data from sites like Warra is freely available. You download it from the web um, and you can do your analysis to your heart's content. So it's a great place for, great resource for scientists all over the world.